Oh, Empire has hello. Arrived, Vistage. The final confrontation with the god of schemes is at hand. The five companions gather at the Harbridge. Meet us there. Oh, snap. This is it. This is it. I am so excited. Also, where am I going? This way. Jump! We're so gonna destroy Molag's bald head. First things first though, I might as well train my horse while I'm here. I left my the legend. Eleven, baby, let's go. Only 49 more to go. Wait. Yeah, right here. Uh back to the Harbridge, he said, right? The Harbridge is over here. Can I just fast travel here? Yes, I can. Woohoo! Oh, dude. I'm stoked. Get out of my way, Bastion. You know what, Bastion? I'm going to change your clothes. What can I do for you? Because you're going to end up being... Well, screw it. You're going to stay the way you are. Because I said so. The Harbridge. Talk to Varen. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, you! <coughs> Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. With the plane meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Bal and reclaim your soul. What must I do? You must lead the five companions into this final battle. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. What should I expect? Know that the God of Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side. But his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall endeavor to prove him utterly, catastrophically wrong. I am ready to get started. Enter Cold Harbor. Oh, we're all here, man. Heart's Grief. That, that actually sounds dope. In a dark and ominous type way, of course. Hey, Abner, what do you need? The time is at hand. Stop second-guessing yourself. Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. You're ready. What do you mean? This is it. <clears throat> the beginning of the blasted end. There's no point in pretending this isn't happening or saying we're not ready. This challenge will not wait. Can you do what is necessary no matter the cost? No matter how much it grieves you? Yes. Molag Ball has my soul. Is there any other choice? There is always a choice. But you don't get to choose what is true. You only get to choose what you will do about it. Do you need a reminder about what lies ahead? Tell me again. <clears throat> we are approaching the fortress of Molag Bal, perhaps the most dangerous place in all of Oblivion. Together, we five are mighty. Even I will admit that. But I cannot invoke the ritual until we are in the presence of the Dark Prince himself. Uh-huh, go on. In exchange for this investiture of power, one of your companions will need to be sacrificed. It will be for you to decide which when the time comes. The infusion of power will not last for long. That's why we need to get close. And then? And then what? I've no idea what will happen to you. Apotheosis? Disintegration? Too many unknowns and not enough information. But if you defeat Molag Bal and survive, your soul and the soul of every other surviving vestige should be restored. Well then let's do this. Oh god guys, this is it. We are on the way to victory. Molag Ball will fall to the grasp of our five companions. Also apparently one of them is going to die. But he didn't say who has to die so I'm assuming we have to choose.
Why didn't... There we go. Man, he does it all late sometimes. Oh, hello. It got you. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm not coming. I need my regen. Do I have Vic? What is th what does this do again? Weapon increases your weapon damage by twenty percent, as well as minor endurance. Uh, increasing your stamina recovery. This should be the first thing I do. Then, this is not really a heal. This is a buff. So I've been using it wrong this whole time. Should be one of the first things I do as a uh, in the fight, like this, then this, then that. Ow. Ah, uh, get out of there. Oh, he's kicking my ass. Dunzo. Heavy armor increased to 49. One more and I think we're maxed. I think that's the only thing we need left, right? Uh, no, we also need medium armor. Light armor's complete, though. Not that it's really important. I... I kind of use a mixture of all armors. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why I have the zone guide. I should... Probably... Uh, it is on the right one, so... Okay, whatever. Oh, that scared me. That statue of Molag Ball, by the way, is sick. This must be where the bar That was dope. Come on, baby. Yeah, see that's That's a hell of a lot better. What? Dunzo. We destroyed him. Manny Marco, haha. <laughs> How does it feel to be a tortured little prick? You <coughs> come to close my torment. What is your appearance here a part of it? The prior. Uh, you're still alive. Uh, I am neither alive nor dead. I am trapped in a couch of ass and bile and swirling vapors. <coughs> My ears are filled with the screams of a thousand nails being drawn. And the pain. The pain is endless. Why is more like Ball keeping you here? I am his plaything. And an abject lesson to others who would thwart him. My plan was flawless. My machinations were executed to perfection. I would have been a god if not for you. I... My only consolation is that you will know this pain soon enough. I'm here to defeat him and take my soul back. What does that have to do with anything? Arrogant, presumptuous, <clears throat> egotistical twaddle. A bit of costume jewelry is nothing compared to the master's power. I expect I'll be seeing you soon. My only joy for the rest of eternity will be hearing your tortured screams. Yeah, so be it. Said I could release him. <gasps> no, 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 no! The fool got precisely what he did. Fool! Future generations will pay for your weakness. Are you insane? That worm didn't deserve your mercy. That was such an accident. going to regret this. As soon as I pushed it, I realized that it said release Man Marco. I released Mana Marco. Why would I release Mana Marco? Oh my god, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. Balog Bal is here. I can feel his presence. Sense his foul breath upon me. Does he stink? Ha! 
Dude, we're so gonna take him out here. There. That place shall serve us well. Let us assemble and prepare the ritual. What do you suppose this place was? A temple of some kind. The Dark Anchors may have pulled it into Cold Harbor. Perhaps it was created by the Daedra to mock the Divines. What does it matter? We can't wait any longer. We must perform the ritual. Vestige, it is time for you to make your decision. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, this will be close enough, I think. Are you prepared? Uh, so Varen, Sai, and Lirith, uh, Lyris are all willing to give up their lives? No one is more surprised than I. They are willing to sacrifice themselves to save the world, yet they will never hear a single word of thanks. Because they'll be it's dead. thing for a selfish man to say, isn't it? I'd better be careful not to learn anything from this. <laughs> He's so stupid. Uh, so how can I choose? I have no idea. Speak to them. Let their own words convince you. But once the choice is made, there is no turning back. The harvest of a fresh soul will no doubt bring Molag Baal's attention upon us. You must take that opportunity to strike him down. Is there no, uh, no other way? We've already been over this. You need an infusion of divine power to even consider challenging a Daedric Prince. The Amulet of Kings can give you that power. <laughs> But at the cost of a life. Damn. What sort of power should I expect to receive? <clears throat> the Amulet of Kings is a relic of Akatosh, the dragon god of time. His powers embody the qualities of perseverance and invincibility, while promoting the virtues of duty, service, and obedience. Make of that what you will. Uh... Okay. I'll hear what each of them have to say then. Oh my god, this is horrible. We'll start with Sai. I see that look in your eye, Vestige. I wonder, am I to be the one? I know that I would consider it a great honor. It would be a fine death. You sound very confident. <clears throat> when you live each day as if it were your last, as I have, eventually you will be right. I was born to die a hero's death. I've always known this, but I've always been prepared for it. That's very honorable of him. Do you really want me to choose you? I once swore to protect my emperor and failed. I cannot allow him to sacrifice his life in my place. Nor can I ask this of Lyris, my snow lily. Aww. She is more important to me than she will ever know. Please, give me this honor. He really wants it. I need time to decide. All right, Lyris, your turn. <laughs> We've had some crazy adventures, haven't we? Yes. But adventures are what you call them when everybody comes back alive, so maybe they've come to an end. I don't regret any of it, though. Not for a moment. Nor do I, Lyris. My father once told me that the most important <clears throat> thing anyone can know is what they would die for. I know that now. But you're young. You still have a long life ahead of you. <clears throat> I feel like I've already lived a dozen lifetimes. I'm so tired. And I look forward to seeing my parents again in Sovngarde. If my death has meaning, then so will my life. It would be my great honor if you would choose me. I need time to decide. She hasn't really convinced me. He kind of did. To an extent, uh, he considers it a very big honor and everything. She hasn't really convinced me. I don't think I'm going to choose Lyris. Varen. Remember, <coughs> Vestige, we fight for our people. We fight for Tamriel. Evil might be kept at bay for a time, but it can never be completely eradicated. What is important is that we resist it, that we fight on and keep fighting. What did the Elder Scrolls say about this moment? Very little. The scrolls can see many things, even possible futures, but they are not infallible, and they will not make this choice for you. You cannot cross the sea simply by standing and considering the water. Be strong, Vestige, and act. What if I make the wrong choice? There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. 
Oblivion did not make me a monster. It just confirmed my own worst fears about myself. It would be fitting and honorable if you were to choose me. It would be a fine death. I need time to decide. Okay, so I'm between Sai and uh, Varen. Varen because he's old and blind anyways. <clears throat> but Sai, I don't think would be able to live happy if he fails his king again. And then Lyris, I mean, she's still young. She still has her whole life ahead of her. And to that note, uh, Varen is super old, like probably gonna die tomorrow. And then Sai is not super old, but he's definitely up there. He's just by looking at his face, he's probably the second oldest guy here, and that's just an assumption, of course. But I'm I'm going with Varen. Remember, vestige. We fight very little. There is no such thing as a I'm safe. I'm choice. sorry, man. There are... I'm There's really sorry. Over there, vestige. And brace yourself. We'll never forget you, sire. Or your sacrifice. <clears throat> Great Akatosh. Oh my god. Dragon god of time. Forgive me for my hubris. Grant your divine power to the vestige. And restore your protection to Tamriel. That my sacrifice might not be in vain. History may not remember your sacrifice, but those present here will <coughs> never forget it. Divines of Tamriel, with this vessel of your power, the Amulet of Kings, I call upon your strength. Let this noble sacrifice be a testament to our desire to set things right and restore balance to the Mundus. Your champion stands ready. Accept this offering and imbue this vestige with your glory. Let the will of Molag Baal be denied. Damn. Vanquish more like Ball. Now is the time. You must ascend the path and face the Daedric Prince. You must face the God of Schemes alone. I will get the others to safety. Go! Yo, this armor looks dope. I want it. I want this armor. I'd probably do something with the pink. Destroy. Oh my god. I'm powerful. Duh. Oh my god. Hero of Tamriel. What is going on? Dude, I am super powerful. Dude, I don't need to use any skills. Bastion exploded. Bastion's over here doing normal damage. Like a peasant. While I'm over here absolutely obliterating, doing 50k damage. Has your tiny mortal mind snapped? Do you yes. really think you can defeat me? Also, yes. Wait, Bastion died. Bastion, stop acting up. Get up. Look at that. Oh my god. That's absolutely insane. The of oblivion are far more complex than anything your mortal senses It's insane how powerful we are. It is absolutely insane. Come on, Bastion. We got some Your destruction to do. Will be legendary, even in oblivion. Bastion just stays dying here. Who shot me? Is that it? Bastion, stop taking a nap, bro. 
Um. What is this? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I am the all-powerful vestige. Gay droths. Get out of here. Bastion, this is absolutely insane, isn't it? Are you impressed by my power? Bastion! You're down again. Can you get up now? There you go. I want him to alive because I want him to continue getting XP with his daggers. I don't know if he gets XP when he's when he's dead. The more XP he gets, the faster he'll level his abilities. Okay, so this is the next spot, clearly. Destroy the fortress wall! <coughs> I wonder where he's at right now. Always ready to help. Of course you are, Bastion. That's why I like you. He's level 11. Bastion, stay close to me, man. I'm the almighty powerful one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sacrifice courage? <sighs> Is that it? We just won? Oh my god, this is cool. Oh, he's not dead yet. I don't care who you are, Molag Bald. What is this Do you think you're talking? Oh god. Yep, Bastion's dead. Let's get him up. He's not even doing anything to me. It's clear that I'm supposed to win here. Oh god, he's about to die again. <laughs> okay, Bastion. This is clearly not for you, okay? I love you, but I'll take care of this. Let's go. Nice try. Dawnbreaker! <laughs> Isn't Dawnbreaker... Meridia 2? Okay. 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 I... Uh, I got, I got absolutely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. I don't know what happened there. Hey, where'd he go? Uh... Hello? Did I break the game? I think I broke the game. Yeah, I think I broke the game. <laughs> Molag Ball was standing there and then he just disappeared. What if I just go back and then run in again? Let's turn around right here. I can't go back. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. 
Molag Ball, please be there. He's gone. He is gone forever, guys. Sad state of affairs this is. Okay, let me come back over here then, and I'm gonna have to reset the game, unfortunately. Come forward, Vestige. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. So I think the game automatically assumes that I beat Molag Ball. What's new? Or maybe I did beat him, I don't know. Hey! I congratulate you, little insect. Your sting is formidable. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the Mundus. For the moment your world is spared, my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. No Your problem. world would have been better off if the plane meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah, your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Well, all right, Meridia, what happened? Your soul <coughs> is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of oblivion are legion, and the god of schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. What happened to Bolag Ball? You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. So where's the Amulet of Kings? As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. He took the amulet with him, I'm assuming. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it. Though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. Did we succeed then? Is Tamriel officially safe? The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nern has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. What of my lost companion? Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. And what about me? Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric princes as well. What must I do then? The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world, but your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. The other alliances? <clears throat> Indeed. 
When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. Can can you send me there? I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? Yes, I'm ready. That's interesting. Um what happened? How, how did we get here? I I remember being overwhelmed, but then I Right, sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Snow Lily. I I know, Sai. It's over. It's all over. Well then, happy endings all round. Smashing. Who's got the brandy? Wait. Where is Thorn? Did he survive? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with it. Back to Cyrodiil. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. So what now? What now? For you, it seems there's more to do. For us, we've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. I think it's time for us to go. Uh, will we ever see each other again? Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. And if not, well, I'm sure there's a seat for you in Southern Guard. If you get there first, save me a cold mug of mead. Where will you go then? Sai and I talked about it a few days ago. What would happen if we both survived? I'd like to go back to the Abbey of Blades with him and help them rebuild. Sounds like a plan. I like them together. Farewell, Lyris. Sigh. So, this is where our roads diverge. Seems so. You and Lyris are going back to the Abbey? For a time, there is much to rebuild there, and I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory personally. Snow Lily and I, well, maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. Ah, uh, Aren't you going to chase after Tharn? To what end? No, let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role, and that is enough. Grudges are like poison to the spirit. It's true. But perhaps once the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt. Yes. I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually, I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. Then perhaps we'll meet on the road someday. I would like that. It has been a singular honor, Vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? No, not really. Varen would be proud of you. I know we are. Thank you. Farewell, Sai. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? Yeah. If if you're gonna let me talk to you, that is. <clears throat> hey, Cadwell. I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, charming. We get on famously. <laughs> While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. You asked Meridia to pull me out of Cold Harbor? <clears throat> the trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Tell me good trick, that. Indeed. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Couldn't be happy. Smashy. Truly. Well, I can't do anything there, so I have to destroy two weapons. You know, that Varen fellow was always a good chap, even if he did muck things up at the start. And he did put things right in the end, didn't 
he's still with you, you know, a part of you, really. And perhaps he can continue to serve the land and the people that he gave his life to save through you. That's all well and done, then. There's just one bit of business left. It's you, over here, quickly. I've got something exciting. Where did he go? Varen was literally right behind him. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. But then, if we went up against overwhelming odds, we wouldn't be heroes, <coughs> would we? Uh, but then, if we weren't up against overwhelming odds, we could be heroes, wouldn't we? So, what should I do now, Cadwell? Still itching for more adventure? Smashing. Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else? Washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the means to help you if you're up for the challenge. Help me? What are you talking about? Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of your former enemies. But fair warning, you will no longer be seen as a great champion. Even familiar faces will see you as a soulless drifter lost in an unfamiliar land. What say you? It, I don't want to do this yet. Okay, I'll, I'll accept it. Screw it. Touch Meridia. Yeah, okay, so I got Cadwell Silver. I'm not gonna touch it yet. I wanna be able to do, to do the entire storylines first before I start there. Alright guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video and this series, the main series that is. We're moving on to the DLCs now, next. Uh, I don't know which one comes first, the Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, Elsewhere, Somerset, etc, etc. I don't know which one comes first. You guys can let me know down in the comment section down below. Also, let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed this series. I know I did pretty thoroughly, especially with that ending, even though the ending kind of bugged out a little bit for a second. I broke the game. I don't know what happened. The game thought I defeated Molag Ball. He was almost dead, but he wasn't quite dead yet. But then, next thing you know, I received too much damage and died, and then I had to reset the game, and then the game automatically thought that I defeated him, which is fine, I guess. It was going to happen regardless, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to end up looking up what the first DLC is. Again, let me know down in the comment section if you guys know what the first DLC is for this game. I'm very curious to know, because that's going to be the first one that I do. I want to do them in order of release. So, there's that. If you enjoyed this series, though, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.